Good morning, everybody, or afternoon or evening, whenever you're seeing this. Hello, hello. I'm Dorothy Morgan, professional astrologer, dorothymorganastrologer.com. All kinds of great things there. Come and find me there. We're going to talk a little bit about the astrology of right now. This is Sunday, February 27th. However, whenever you see this, this message, you know, if it resonates, even if it's not on the same day, that's cool too. As you know, spirit has info for us. So I'm going to look at the astrology, just a tidbit there. The main astrology stuff is over on my Patreon. You can go support me there. I appreciate it. Thank you. Forever grateful. Um, and so today we're going to look at a little bit of the astrology. We're going to look at the astro dice. And you know me, I love using this, this deck. Here we get a little tip here. It's a very nice, earthy, very grounded deck. It's my favorite. This is just a nice little way to connect every morning and get us going. And again, whenever you see this, it's perfectly fine. So I'm going to share the chart before I do anything else. Let's see if I can get that up. Yes, I do. Here we are, the main thing. So Sunday, February 27th. What's the, what's the, what does spirit, what does astrology want us to know? What does spirit want us to know? We have, this is my time zone. So don't you worry about where, what the location of the planets are. All right. Because that we can't talk about because everybody listening is in somewhere around the world. So the placement of these things are not exactly the same for you as they are for me. Um, in the middle of the night, well, actually early, early this morning. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. Something woke me up at a time I don't usually wake up, which is just about four o'clock this morning. And I looked out the kitchen window and even though there's no leaves on the trees yet, I could see the moon rising because we're in the balsamic lunar phase and right above it was Venus. I couldn't see Mars just because the trees are there and Mars isn't as bright as Venus, but oh my God, it was so beautiful. So I went back to bed knowing that I have connected with um, Venus and the moon. I'll go back and show you what that looks like, just the astrology of it. And you can see here too, but it's just, it was beautiful. So we really do want to connect with these things in the sky. Here's about 5 a.m., 4 a.m. It was just after that. Let me go a few minutes at a time because this means they're below the horizon. So I wouldn't be able to see them when they were exactly conjunct. But it was a little, actually, I think it was closer to five. Here it is just above the horizon. This is where the horizon is in the astrology where my mouse is wiggling, okay? Here's when the moon and Venus are together. The moon's at her most brilliance right now. And this is high as she'll get in the sky as a morning star because she's starting to descend back down into uh, well, the whole archetypal story of Venus and Persephone and all of that. So it was beautiful, beautiful to connect with the moon in Capricorn, conjunct Venus in Capricorn this morning and Mars as well, but I was really focusing on the moon and Venus. And I just went back to bed, back to sleep. And just to, to like feel that connection so I could feel grounded. Right. And right now at this recording, we also have the moon conjunct Pluto and with the moon conjunct Pluto today, eventually the moon's going to move into um, Aquarius. So let me find out what time that is. Cause I don't quite remember. That's a little after one 30 this afternoon here on the East coast. <clears throat> Venus will shift into Aquarius. However, all morning and early afternoon, moon conjunct Pluto now, and we are in that balsamic lunar phase. The new moon isn't until March 2nd, Wednesday, March 2nd, at just after um, afternoon East Coast. So I want us to know that from now until we get to that <clears throat> point on Wednesday, we are in that, <clears throat> wow, excuse me, we are in that balsamic lunar phase. What does that mean? That means go within, spend time alone with yourself, no cell phone, no computers. Find the time to take care and to um, feel very much connected to nature and be nice and quiet, all right? That's the most important thing for us to do these days um, until we get to that new moon. Try not to um, <clears throat> start new projects right now. That's one of the most important things because this is a period of inner reflection. I'm gonna stop the share. Yeah, this is a, a good period of, of inner reflection, which is um, so important when the moon is balsamic. All right, 
So that was a lot of astrology, actually, you guys can watch today, which I don't mind sharing. Um, the astrology is, is definitely important. Uh, additional content that spirit wants us to, to know is, I just rolled the moon in Scorpio <laughs> in the 10th house. So here's your astrological sentencing, the moon, um, my emotions, how I feel, how I want, what comforts me when I need to be cared and nurtured for. In the sign of Scorpio, you're going to hear something. It sounds very familiar. The, um, it is the deeper process. It's a water sign. It's a fixed water sign. So we have this opportunity to take our time, be very quiet, go within, just like that balsamic lunar phase. It says it's in the 10th house. It gave us the energy of the 10th house. And so for some of us, whomever this might really resonate with, it's about how you're out and about in the public, how you're out and about in the world that may need to, you just need to be quiet for a few days <clears throat> and uh, contemplate what's going on with your career, public image, how the world sees you. It's just a couple of days. So make sure you, you take, um, take time for that. I really need to get out into the woods today. I'm going to look at an apartment this afternoon at 3.30 during the balsamic lunar phase. So I have to keep looking. <laughs> I need to feel like I'm doing something because, you know, this time frame is not necessarily the best for, you know, starting a new contract with somebody. So earlier, I just wanted to share. Earlier, I pulled this card in his vision quest. I pulled it because I like to pull one for myself, right? Sometimes I just wait until I'm recording. But this time I pulled this and vision quest is exactly the same thing how I'm feeling right now. I want to go out into nature. I want to go spend some time alone. I have some prep work to do for clients tomorrow, but I'm going to find a way to spend two or three hours out in the woods and I'm going to head out as soon as we're done this um, premiere. So I have to bundle up. It's like 20 out and it's windy. <laughs> it's going to be cold. So I'll go out. I'm still going to have my phone in my back pocket because I don't like to walk in the woods all by myself without something with me. However, um, it'll be beautiful. It's, gonna, it's about spending that inner time. Okay. So find that today for yourself if you can. Now, the card I pulled for us live, or rather recording, is this. So smudging ceremony. What does that represent? Obviously, we know what smudging is. Most of us do. So there are some things that need to be cleared out, cleared out. You need to clear your space, do some smudging. I can't officially smudge here, so I have to um, have some sprays that I use, and I use music. I get the iPad running. It's the only I think I have. <laughs> and I go onto YouTube, huh, here we are, and I find some, some, something that I feel is going to just resonate, and I play it as loud as I can. Um, and so it vibrates through the space. So since I don't have, I can't burn sage, the landlady lives right downstairs. She'd smell it. So I can't get away with it. <laughs> Otherwise I would. Anyways, that was a secret. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I can't. Anyways, <clears throat> so whatever you're smudging, however you want to smudge, whatever you want to do is, you know, that it's just the cards and the energy of today is about taking a, a, a little dive inward, spending inner time, right? And really engaging in even some shadow work, if you like, the moon in Scorpio will be like that too. That's the roll of the dice. It's not where the moon is in the sky today. All right. Thanks, everybody always grateful. And the way you can support me here on YouTube is you can come to Patreon. You can, uh, you know, thumbs up, comment below the video. The live stream's great, but below the video, share with your friends, all of that. That's how you, yeah, support me here on YouTube. It's just more people. It's wonderful. Share this great info. I love it. Again, blessings. Namaste.